What's going on, Z Nation? And welcome to another edition of ZSPN. I'm your host, Zaid, here. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Pelicans tonight. But before anything, like always, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good social media stuff. And guys, like always, please be sure to like my page on Facebook, ZSPN, and also follow me on Twitter at ZSPN underscore sports on Twitter. Now, as of uh, tonight's game against the uh, the New Orleans Pelicans, uh, obviously it was an historic moment, moment for um, the Lakers and Anthony Davis. Um, you know, Anthony Davis has returned uh, to the Pelicans uh, since being traded to the Los Angeles Lakers in the offseason. Uh, it was a, a plethora of draft picks that was involved and players including um Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Josh Hart for Anthony Davis and as of uh, tonight's game you know you know for for Anthony Davis uh there was a lot of historic uh, moments that were made in tonight's game uh, I believe uh you know Anthony Davis is the first player ever to score a 41 point game uh, against a former team. Uh, here's the list of the players that made those particular historic moments in, um, in, in NBA history. And as of right now, Anthony Davis is first on that list to do that. And, um, for, uh, for LeBron, you know, he's also made some historic moments also. I believe he is now uh, for, he's the fourth player in NBA history for scoring uh, 33,000 points in his career. So uh, obviously he's on in the rankings of one of the best uh, scorers in the in the NBA. So obviously tonight, guys, there were some historic moments and then there were some key moments. And, you know, Anthony Davis was basically the guy in tonight's game playing against his former team and, you um, you know, with that steal that he made uh, in, in a very, very close game against the uh, the Pelicans, uh, really saved the Lakers uh, from, um, you know, basically snapping a, a eight-game winning streak. But as of right now, the Lakers extend their winning streak to nine. And as of right now, I think they are 16-2 and two, uh, into the season now. And it's all thanks to Anthony Davis, who had a 41-point game, and, you know, you know, guys, I'm going to be completely honest here. I mean, you know, for the Lakers' standpoint, they struggled. I mean, let's just be honest here, okay? First, second, and then the third quarter, um, you know, they kind of struggled with a very scoring, uh, a good scoring uh, Pelicans team. Uh, you know, they were just scoring, I mean, from the three. And, you know, they just, they've just they just been scoring against the Lakers. And uh, the Lakers couldn't, you know, somehow uh, play better defense out there. And then, you know, they just weren't so aggressive in the first and second quarter. But And also, if you make the argument, third quarter. But at the end of the day, the fourth quarter, sorry, the, yeah, the fourth quarter was um, in the uh, Lakers' favor. Uh, with the help of LeBron James, who had a 29-point game. I believe he had a triple-double, uh, or maybe it was a double-double out there tonight. I think he had maybe 11 assists out there tonight. So, um, you know, also with the help of, you know, the rest of the players, including uh, Kyle Kuzma, who had a 16-point game, I believe, in the fourth quarter, uh, you know, all because of LeBron. Uh, he's... Kyle Kuzma was, like, shooting threes, and, you know, like I said, guys, I'm going to continue saying it, uh, you know, in my past videos, I keep on saying, you know, Kyle Kuzma is one of those players that just, you know, at key moments, he will deliver, he will give us a great performance when there's an opportunity to do so, and obviously, this game was one of them, especially in the fourth quarter with him shooting those threes, and as a result, he had 16 points. And, um, you know, with somebody in the position of Kyle Kuzma, he is potentially has to be that, that guy who comes off the bench because, you know, um, you have two of the best players in the NBA who needs the ball in their hands, as always. And obviously, they're going to continue to score uh, at key moments. So, uh, but uh, a solid 
great performance for uh, for Kyle Kuzma. Uh, overall performances for the Lakers. I mean, some of them played good defense, and uh, when it's all said and done, uh, the Lakers basically struggled uh, shooting wise. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, uh, the defense came back in the uh, third and fourth quarter, uh, mostly in the uh, in the fourth quarter because of Anthony Davis, because obviously he wanted to get that win against his former team. And uh, guys, we can just tell by tonight's game. I mean, they were booing uh, Anthony Davis every time he had a ball in his hands, and even before uh, the game ever started. So, you know, they. There is some hatred towards uh, f towards Anthony Davis because obviously you know we all witnessed what what happened last season uh, when he requested a trade and he wanted to be traded to the Lakers and um, you know once the season ended for the Pelicans he had a shirt that said that's all folks and uh, obviously it really ticked. The, the fans out there and I can understand where the fans are going at when it comes to uh, you know that sort of hatred but you have to think of both ways here I mean Anthony Davis has been with the Pelicans for almost throughout his uh, career now seven years uh, with that team and um, basically he was not going anywhere with that team and he wanted to basically start winning uh, you know playoff uh playoff games and you know contend for a title and basically win awards and you know defensive player of the year mvp uh and um you know he you know he just basically it was just tired of it and obviously he just wanted to um you know increase his uh, legacy over money and i kind of respect that as a player because you know players these days now they always consider money over a legacy and uh, obviously Anthony Davis is just one of those players that just wants legacy over money and I respect that as a player and guys I'm not just saying uh, all this because I'm a Laker fan I'm glad he's a Laker but you know it's just common sense I mean if you want to be in the history books as one of the greatest players of all time you obviously like to you know put your legacy first and then you think about the money. And, you know, it's kind of similarity to LeBron James. I mean, he wants to make a mark in the NBA and basically in, in sports history by becoming the best athlete that he can. And uh, obviously Anthony Davis is trying to do so by um, by what he did. And uh, I kind of respect him for that. And because, you know, like I said, I mean, I like a player who obviously chooses legacy over uh, money because, you know, if you want to continue to win games and reach playoffs every single year and, you know, potentially uh, win championships down the line, you have to go that route. And when it's all said and done, I mean, plethora of other players have done that. I mean, Kevin Garnett did that, you know, when he, um, you know, joined the, uh, the Celtics visa trade. And uh, I'm trying to think of some others. Uh, you know, there's been a plethora of other players that have, been, have done that. I mean, LeBron James, you know, he went to South Bay. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, no, sorry. He went to <laughs> uh, he went to Miami and teamed up with his uh, buddy, Dwayne Wade. And obviously, he won championships. So, um, obviously, a plethora of players have done that. I mean, even Kevin uh, Durant has done that. So, um Obviously, I respect that, you know, as a, you know, as a player like him for doing so. And obviously, guys, uh, it is what it is now. Uh, and I just hope people can just move on and hopefully, uh, you know, things will change for the better. And uh, obviously, throughout the game, guys, I mean, it was just aggressive basketball. Um, I'm talking more towards uh, the, the Pelicans in the first, second and third quarter and uh, but at the end of the day the Lakers in the fourth quarter uh, managed the game and obviously played great defense and I'm um, leaning towards more to uh, Anthony Davis and uh, when it's all said and done uh, the Lakers just really um, 
stepped up in the fourth quarter and I'm glad that they won uh, a game against the uh, the Pelicans because uh, if we would if we would have lost against them uh, it would have been a very uh, sad night but I'm glad the Lakers took this win and it's all because of Anthony Davis, LeBron, Kyle Kuzma and the rest of the Lakers uh, squad including like Kyle uh, sorry um uh, Alex Caruso, who played very well in the fourth quarter, and when it's all said and done, I mean, the Lakers just stepped up in the fourth quarter, and I'm just glad they did so, and uh, um, when it's all, I'm gonna, sorry, I keep on saying it, but you know, um, it's just, uh, it's just the bottom line, I mean, the Lakers just stepped up in the fourth quarter defensively, and I just hope that they just continue to improve shooting-wise, because that was just a scarce moment in the first and second quarter when the uh, Pelican, Pelicans kept on scoring against the Lakers and taking a huge lead at one point. And, uh, uh, but I'm just glad the Lakers came back from this and uh, hopefully uh, something like this doesn't occur again. So, uh, you know, I just hope uh, the Lakers just continue to um, just stay on their path of where they're at and hopefully play better defense, play actually uh, aggressive defense. And uh, when it comes to uh, teams who are shooters, um, um, they just have to play aggressive defense. And uh, when it came to those injuries, guys, I, I, I have to say this also, uh, you know, there were some scary moments uh, that, uh, you know, when LeBron went down with that knee and obviously he came back, but I guarantee you guys, I think he's going to feel it probably – the next couple of days and uh, hopefully it's not anything serious uh, but you know this is LeBron James I mean he will bounce back from that and uh, when it came to uh, Anthony Davis uh, with that elbow um, you know he did come back but you know at the end of the day you know he just needs to be careful oh, and hopefully uh, it's not anything serious hopefully uh, you know not we don't uh, see any um, reports showing that he has some soreness in his elbow or anything like that. So hopefully uh, the Lakers continue to stay healthy and hopefully, um, you know, just be ready when they play against the uh, the Washington Wizards on Friday. So hopefully, uh, you know, things uh, turn up better uh, health-wise for the Lakers in general. And, uh, you know, just hopefully they just, uh, just play – better uh lakers uh, lakers basketball so guys please uh, comment down below like subscribe to the channel share my videos all over facebook twitter all the good social media stuff and guys please give me your thoughts about tonight's game against the uh the pelicans what you guys liked and what you disliked and uh what did you guys think about uh the performances of anthony davis lebron james kyle kuzma and if you guys want, uh, please comment down below what you guys think about Brandon Ingram's uh, performance. I mean, guys, we, this is the Brandon Ingram that we all expected him to play and become as a player, um, you know, down the line. Because uh, obviously he's laying it up. I mean, averaging uh, 26 points per game. So obviously uh, the guy is has improved. And, you know, I won't be surprised if he gets, uh, you know, the... Uh, most approved player of the year. I mean, you know, he deserves it because, you know, he's on a different level now and hopefully, he, you know, coming from a fan of Brandon Ingram, you know, hopefully, you know, he just continues to improve and hopefully, you know, he becomes, uh, you know, that sort of comparison to a Kevin Durant some days because, you know, he's just an amazing player and hopefully he does. And uh, I wish... Uh, not just uh, Brandon Ingram's luck, but Josh Hart, Lonzo Ball, because, you know, they're former Lakers. And obviously we miss them, but we just have to move on when it comes to, uh, you know, you know, starting to win games and, uh, you know, become relevant again. And I'm glad that Anthony Davis is the Laker now. And, you know, with LeBron James, uh, the Lakers are just basically the best team best team in the Western Conference and when it's all said and done um, the Lakers are coming and hopefully they keep this drive that they're on play great and an aggressive defense and uh, hopefully they just stay healthy at the end of the day so guys please uh, comment down below like subscribe and like I said please give me your thoughts about tonight's game against the um, 
the Pelicans and uh, please give me your thoughts. I really appreciate your thoughts and opinions when it comes to uh, the Los Angeles Lakers and um, basically every single game that they put up. And uh, I really appreciate your thoughts and opinions when it comes to uh, the Lakers. And uh, uh, now, and guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy.